Hope you had a great weekend. You know, we've seen some changes from last week to what we're dealing with this morning in the tropics. Last week we had Lee and Margo. Now we are watching Nigel. So Lee and Margo are gone. What we have here with Nigel, it was a tropical storm, but with the 5 a.m. update this morning, it became Hurricane Nigel. As you can see, we'll take a look at the latest forecast track on this. At 5 a.m., it had 80 mile per hour winds. Actually expected to continue to intensify. We're seeing a little bit of that with the satellite imagery. It's forecast to become a major hurricane late tonight and into early Tuesday. As we go through the middle part of the week, it's going to make more of a turn to the north and eventually the northeast. Here's Bermuda. Here's the east coast. This thing is far far away. No real impacts on our area at all. What we are going to find though, this thing's going to wind down over the cooler waters of the North Atlantic. So it's more or less a fish storm. Of course, maritime interests will continue to monitor that. As for the rest of the tropics, again, with this system moving along, expected to just stay off there out over the uh, north central Atlantic. We are going to turn our attention from Nigel to two other areas. We have this one here off the southeast coast with a 30% chance of development over the next week. Right now, we have a frontal boundary that is pushing through the area. And sometimes along these fronts, once they're kind of offshore, you can get little tropical systems that start to develop there. So you get a little low level spin. Of course, this water is very warm and you can get uh, tropical depressions or sometimes tropical storms or even hurricanes that develop off those. What I think we're going to see here, the potential development over the next week and probably most likely midweek to late week, it then moves back in whatever does develop here back into South Carolina could be an area of low pressure or tropical depression, but it will eventually bring some moisture into North Carolina if the models are correct and potentially into our area later over the weekend. We'll keep an eye to this again. The chances of this thing developing into a tropical system over the next seven days from the Hurricane Center, about 30%. There's a wave coming off the coast of Africa that has a very good chance of development over the next seven days that at 70%. So we're going to be watching this area as well. Again, nothing that is a direct and imminent threat to Hampton Roads, but with that system off the southeast coast and the potential for another system later in the week coming off the African coast, we will be busy and we will keep you updated.